Lesson 2.5, Make Bar Graphs. Ben asked some friends to name their favorite breakfast food. He recorded their choices in the frequency table at the right. So we see the favorite breakfast food, we see the different food, and the number of votes. Number one, complete the bar graph by using Ben's data. So waffles, eight, cereal, 14. There's no 14, so they put it between 12 and 16, and 14 would be right in the middle. Pancakes, 12. Oatmeal, four. Number two, which food did the most people choose as their favorite breakfast food? So the one with the longest bar was cereal and cereal had 14. Number three, how many people chose waffles as their favorite breakfast food? So let's find waffles. And waffles has eight, and if we check our bar graph, waffles is at eight. So eight people. Number four. Suppose six people chose oatmeal as their favorite breakfast food. How would you change the bar graph? So if six people chose oatmeal as their favorite, oatmeal would go from four and we would find six. There's no six, but we know six is between four and eight. After four is five, six, seven, and then we have eight right here. So the one that's right in the middle is six, so six would be right in the middle. So we would, we would shade up between four and eight. Six is right. in the middle. So let's take this back out because there said suppose. So I'll leave it back to four. But if they wanted us to change it to six, it would be right here. Number five. Um, have students use the data on page 116 and explain how to draw a bar for a player named Eric who scored 20 points. So on page 116, our key should be counting by tens. And it would, the bar would stop at 20. So our key So our key would be counting by 10 and we would stop and shade until we got to 20.
Number one, Gary asked his friends to name their favorite pizza topping. He recorded the results in a bar graph. How many people chose pepperoni? So we unline our question because it tells us what to do. How many people chose pepperoni? So pepperoni, we find it on the bar graph. Pepperoni stops at six. So six people, six people chose pepperoni. Number two, suppose three more friends chose mushrooms. Where would the bar for mushrooms end? So, so right now, only one person chose mushrooms, but if three more, one plus three equals four. So we would shade mushrooms up until we got to four. And mushroom would end at four. Number three, estimate the sum. We know estimate means close to. So when we estimate, we're not looking for the exact answer, but we're looking for a number close to the answer. And we know the word sum means to add. So since we're estimating, we're not looking for the exact answer. So let's round. We can either round to the nearest tens or to the nearest hundred. Let's round to the nearest hundred. 458 is between 400 and 500. But when we're rounding to the nearest hundred, it becomes 500. 214 when we round to the nearest hundred is between 200 and 300, but it is closer to 200. So to estimate, we add zero plus zero is zero, zero plus zero in the tenth place is zero, five plus two in the hundredth place is seven. So since it's an estimate, we use the word about and our answer, 700. Number four, Matt added 14 plus zero. What is the sum? 14 plus zero is 14. And because of the identity property, we know whenever we add a number to zero, our sum will be that number so 14 and we know the sum means to add me so whenever we see the word sum we know we're going to be adding sum is the answer to an addition problem so the sum is 14. number five there are 682 runners registered for an upcoming race what is 682 rounded to the nearest hundred so we have 682 and we have to round it to the nearest hundred. So, so 682 is between 600 and 700, but it is closer to 700. Number six, there are 187 new students this year at Maple Elementary. What is 187 rounded to the nearest 10? So we have 187 and we round it to the nearest 10. So 187 is between 180 and 190 when rounding to the nearest 10. But it will be closer to 190. So 187, when rounded to the nearest 10, becomes 190.